guys so today I have decided to do a video that could potentially be a series but I don't even want to you know <laughs> say too much about that because I usually never really give my words when it comes to making videos and such because I'm bad like that so but anyway today I wanted to talk about five books five French books that are not super famous they're not like they're quite well known though and I think it perhaps would be a nice thing to do once in a while to highlight some French books, French novels, novellas, poetry, whatever that might not be the most, you know, obvious for people who are not French or not even like studying French literature. So the first one I want to talk about will start with this one. Um, it is Les Rêveries du Promeneur, non, Rêveries du Promeneur Sol Solitaire by Jean-Jacques Rousseau. So I've talked about this one in a couple of videos. The reason why I'm always talking about this book is because I definitely would recommend it to anyone. It's a very easy book to read because it's not like a story um, and it doesn't have like a plot and you don't have to read it, you know, thoroughly and it's also quite short. It's divided into a few walks, basically nine of them I think, no ten. I would really suggest anyone reading that because I think it's a nice introduction to literature that might not be the easiest to read. Beautiful, beautiful book because also is, I mean, was an amazing writer so I would definitely recommend that book. It's the second book is Une Vie by Maupassant. So this one is very different from that one because this one is a proper story, a traditional, very standard sort of story. It was written in the 19th century. It's realist, realistic, whatever. It's from realism, the movement. Basically, it's a story of a very unhappy marriage. So it's a pretty traditional story, as I said, there's no big surprise, but it is very well written. It is very interesting if you're interested in the 19th century French society, because Maupassant depicted it very well, as other writers were kind of on the same page, for example, Zola or Balzac. The feelings are very well sort of conveyed, so you get moved and you like the characters and you want to know more about them and you feel something at the end of the book, that's all I can say. Then I picked up De L'Amour by Stendhal, which is a big piece as you can tell. So Stendhal, another writer that I love a lot, but he's most known for Le Rouge et Le Noir et La Chartreuse de Parme. He's not so well known for that kind of literature, even though um, I think he should. So this book is a bit more for people who like a bit of sarcasm, a little bit of wittiness, and um, those are basically just pages upon pages upon pages of thoughts and comments and remarks about love and relationships. I really enjoy that and I think what's nice with that kind of book is that it enables you to know the writer a little bit more, um, at least in a different way compared to, you know, novel and fiction work. <laughs> Les Nourritures Terrestres by André Gide. So this is probably like the most beautiful book out of the five that I picked. This book is very close to poetry, I feel like. It is um, like most of the books I picked up actually, apart from Une Vie and the last one that's gonna come in a few seconds or minutes. Um, this one is also very easy to read because it's not like a real story with, with a plot and you have to read chapters after chapters. It's more like thoughts and a collection of different little texts. Very beautiful. Um, it is highly sensual, very um what would i say the imagery is beautiful very spiritual and it's gonna make you you know highlight a lot of sentences because it's absolutely delightful the way it is written and it's very inspiring as well last but definitely not least a rebours de vismans so this book for me is like a huge classic but if i've realized and i've noticed that speaking with you know many people Many people haven't read that book. It is very interesting because it's very, very specific and particular to a certain style and a certain era and a certain sort of ideal. Um, it's very kitsch in a way. The style is very refined. Every sentence is so delicately sort of written. The words are searched for with a lot of attention to details, a lot of precision. It's beautiful. If I were to compare it with a few things or sort of link it to a few things, I would definitely link it with Baudelaire, for example, Villiers de Lille Adam, 
and perhaps here and there, weirdly, but surely Zola for the abundance of details of description, but not boring ones. And perhaps Flaubert, Salambo. yes. So that one is a very big recommendation. I have adored that book and it's probably in my top 10. So definitely a big recommendation. Yes, I hope you enjoy watching this video, guys. It was brief. I try, I'll try if I make any more videos like that to make it short. I'm gonna focus on French literature because that's the one I know the best. If you have any more recommendation or if you have any suggestions for future videos or if you have any specific inquiries or if you want to know more about a certain author or a certain book please let me know and i shall see you later bye